Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a unique and innovative Linux distribution, Fedora Silverblue. If you've been exploring the Linux world or just looking for a more stable and flexible OS, you might have heard of Silverblue. But what exactly is it, and why would someone choose it over a more traditional Linux distro? Let's break it down and see why Fedora Silverblue has become my go-to operating system. So, what exactly is Fedora Silverblue? Fedora Silverblue is an immutable variant of Fedora Workstation designed to provide a more robust and stable user experience. The term immutable means that the core system is read-only and remains unchanged during daily use. Instead of updating individual system components piece by piece, Silverblue replaces the entire system image during updates. This approach minimizes the risk of breaking your system due to incomplete or faulty updates, making it highly reliable. One of the standout features of Fedora Silverblue is how it handles system upgrades. In traditional Linux distributions, upgrading your system can sometimes lead to unexpected issues, like broken dependencies or malfunctioning applications. But with Silverblue, system upgrades are seamless. When a new version of Silverblue is released, the entire OS is updated in one go, similar to how mobile operating systems work. This method drastically reduces the chances of encountering issues during an upgrade, giving you a stable and consistent experience. What if something goes wrong after an upgrade? No problem. Fedora Silverblue has a powerful rollback feature. If an update introduces bugs or breaks compatibility with certain software, you can easily revert to the previous version of the OS with just a few keystrokes during boot. This rollback feature is incredibly useful, allowing you to recover from potential issues without losing any of your data or settings. It's like having a built-in time machine for your operating system. If you enjoy experimenting with new or beta software, Silverblue is perfect for you. Thanks to its immutable nature, you can try out beta releases of software, or even the entire OS, without putting your main system at risk. If the beta software turns out to be unstable or doesn't meet your needs, you can quickly roll back to the stable version without any hassle. This makes Silverblue an ideal environment for developers and tech enthusiasts who want to stay on the cutting edge without compromising stability. One of the great things about Linux is the ability to choose from various desktop environments, and Fedora Silverblue excels here as well. In a traditional Linux setup, switching between desktop environments can leave your system cluttered with leftover files and libraries. But with Silverblue, you can switch desktops cleanly and easily. You can try out different environments like GNOME, KDE Plasma, or others without worrying about system clutter or leftover dependencies. Once you decide on your preferred desktop, your system remains clean and efficient. Fedora Silverblue uses Flatpak as its primary packaging format for installing software. Flatpak packages are sandboxed, meaning each application runs in isolation from the rest of the system. This adds an extra layer of security and prevents applications from interfering with each other. Managing permissions for these apps is straightforward with tools like FlatSeal. Plus, because Flatpaks are independent of the OS version, you can get the latest versions of your apps directly from Flathub without waiting for the next OS update. It's like having a consistent and unified App Store experience across your entire system. In summary, Fedora Silverblue offers a unique blend of stability, flexibility, and modern package management that makes it an excellent choice for both work and play. Whether you're a developer, a power user, or someone who just values a stable computing environment, Silverblue has something to offer. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Linux content, and drop a comment below if you're considering making the switch to Fedora Silverblue. Catch you in the next video.